people have to survive and you know as Bob Marley said you cannot sit by the river and then die of thirst Yeah, 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 Juma. Oh, this is him. My problem is that we are Juma. It's a bay away. Over Fenian has an Indian outbreak. Only a piano of a top. And to Tiana, which ran out him. Dear whom we said Galamseno, go do as I seen him. And I shall say, dear Hordin, by a Nissi Gallery behind Fidi, by a dear Hordin, a bit to form near Payanodian. She took two years to pay Yaka Cry about Toby and Yagi. These uh, mining, the, uh, what we call the galamse, they are sort of uninvited guests. As soon as any area comes up for mining, they also rush there. It's just like rush for gold that happened in the uh, in America. There are those who do it purely for livelihood reasons. These are those who live in the communities. They are indigenous. They grew up in the communities. If you check their background, you realize that they are children of parents who lost their farmlands to large scale surface mining companies. The mining company took over their lands, very little or no compensation was paid, and therefore they had to either drop out of school or they couldn't continue after the basic level. So they don't have the skill, they don't have the, the certificate, the academic certificate to even gain employment in the mine. So what do they do? They are forced to go into small scale mining or galamsi as a form of survival. They need to survive. That is one class of people. There is also the other class of people. They are in for commercial reasons. The last statistics I read, the 2004 figures from the Minerals Commission, indicates that uh, small scale miners contributed up to 34% of total gold production. So that tells you the potential in the sector. We can look at the national level, uh, they are contributing this much to our total gold exports and, the, and therefore foreign exchange earnings to the country. At the local level, they also play a key role. They stimulate local economic development they, because they earn income. The interesting thing is that every penny, every peso they earn stays in the local economy. It doesn't go out. There's no capital flight associated with small scale mining as we have with large scale mining. And then locally, they also contribute to economic de uh, infrastructure development. There are cases where small scale miners have supported the construction of schools, clinics, repair of roads, and so on. So that is a, a key contribution to infrastructural development. <laughs> Because I'm so these are some of the you know, benefits we get from small scale miners that unfortunately have not been documented. But they are a key part of our economy. I think um, we, our attitude to small scale mining has also led to the kind of negative perceptions that we have. So for instance, um, there are problems associated with small scale mining, environmental problems. And it is also because they are not regulated so they are more or less like an orphan sector of our economy.